Right, I've just uh, put the exhaust in place at the back for now. Can't be bolted up yet or even wire tied up yet because uh, I haven't put the downpipe on, which is there. It's a part of my old steel stainless steel system. The back sections are stainless. The front downpipe we've made for the 200 Di conversion and the uh, the 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 following bit is uh, uh, as per 9110. Can't remember what exactly it's off now, but you know. Um, I've uh, put the exhaust. On. I've uh, I've put a battery on uh, in the centre there just for now. Uh, I've had the air connected up. It's a very poor battery. That's why I've got it. Uh, I've just put the air, dropped the earth on place and I've turned the ignition key. Nothing's exploded yet, but um, the uh, when I turned the ignition key, nothing came on. So just put that onto there, and you put the battery on there like that. We've got no oil pressure and no charge, but I'm not. Uh, won't start panicking yet because uh, you know it's um, it's not uh, the the alternator is not connected, so we've probably got no power to anything. Could try the wiper motor, but I'm to tried that. I plugged that in yet. So, well anyway, uh, I uh, I can't do it with one hand, but it will. The engine will turn, so when the engine's back together and. Uh, I've got all the air out at all uh, it will actually run so uh, I'll have a look at that tomorrow I've put the the brake booster in place best place I could uh, think of putting it it's sort of out the way there you know it's because uh, that's where my battery used to live on the front there and I've had to get rid of the battery uh, <laughs> to uh, make way for that it was either no brakes or have a battery so uh, yeah I'm still waiting for a clutch pedal get that tomorrow well, I'm just putting the cylinder head back on when you're doing this job you've got three bolts to choose from basically you've got that one that one and that one All right three different sizes this size go in the main in the main two rows there four of these go along here I'll just drop that one in place while I'm at it uh, and then this one number three goes in there. Now before you take your cylinder head off mark up all the numbers of the bolts so it's so much simpler to torque them back down. Just topped it to save some time make one of these up. This one's getting worn out once it's chopping down. Stick your socket on there put that in your drill set to the lowest torque setting and uh, just uh, tighten them up ready for uh, talking now. Thank you. 
Right, I'm now on the second stage of uh, 60 degree in. Gone through the first 60, and this is pretty simple. You can see the mark there, and see the bolt there. You put that on in the correct place, and just turn it through until the lines meet up. Let's do a bit better. Yeah. You have to put some force into this though, because it's uh, I'm set to 80 pounds foot, and I really need to go a bit higher. I haven't got a breaker bar. I've just got this torque wrench. Well, I've just uh, almost got the um, exhaust fitted now. The manifold's on and has been sprayed in barbecue black. The uh, homemade downpipe is in, which has also been uh, sprayed black. And as we move around to the back, right, we've got the. Uh, you can see how it, how it comes through. That's the mild steel section, and we've got a silencer under that anger there. Still wants bolting down yet, but uh, the test that I'd like to do at the minute is just see how well we actually are by uh, using a pair of uh, snips. So this is the make or break section here. No, oh, it's not too bad, is it? So when it's all bolted up, it'll all pull up and uh, Bob will be my uncle. I've just been uh, finishing off the exhaust and it's all tight now. Uh, the uh, second wire tyre has been removed that I put on to hold it in the position I wanted it. Uh, as you can see it's all pretty solid and rattle free which is what we want. The only thing is I'm not happy about this side though because it, it does stick up uh, rather high as you can see it's not sitting level I prefer it more sort of there but, uh, but yeah hopefully it won't uh, it won't catch on the chassis when we start running about in it it's uh, it's a nice exhaust that, but just a, a fair bob or two, we've got to adapt it to fit. I think it is actually for a proper 200 TDI conversion, but I'm, uh, it's a shame that we couldn't, uh, that we chopped it up and uh, didn't use it as a TDI, but there we go. Seen inside engine, engine's knackered, so... Uh, Probably weren't worth print to everyone anyway. Well, I can't remember where we got to last time, but uh, exhaust in, that's all bolted down. I've put the, uh, finished building the engine back up, well, almost. Uh, I've just got the cam belt cover, thermostat housing, and injectors. I'm waiting for new nozzles on the injectors, it's supposed to be replaced every hundred thousand mile but I don't know how many miles this engine's done I'm assuming a lot I weren't told a lot but I'm assuming a lot <laughs> so uh, I've put that pipe uh, to the servo on on there from the vacuum pump because before I just had a bolt sticking through it <coughs> I've got the 
Uh, what's it pot to sort out? Reservoir pot for the brakes. I'm changing that to a, a, a metal one rather than the plastic one. I've done the uh, valve clearances, put that all back on. Alright, I'll uh, update when more progress has been achieved. Just uh, fitted the uh, clutch pedal this afternoon. Yet again, I've used plenty of uh, uh, sealant around the joints. And while I was at it, I just put some sealant on the uh, rubber gasket there for the uh, steering arm. Uh, all the pipes are now bolted in place. The bottom one never came off. The uh, <coughs> I've uh, yeah I've uh, they're all the pipes that came off this vehicle before. Put a new master cylinder on. I've also put a new entire clutch pedal box on. Basically because someone part exchanged my original one for a second hand one. Because that had a working master cylinder in. And I was going to change it anyway. So, because uh, I'd already bought the part. It's been lying around on the kitchen table for the last three or four months. So, uh, this is the master cylinder I took off. Which... Uh, I've seen better days. Uh, it's not really a difficult job to take off. Need a bit of heat on the uh, on the bolts there, but I've uh, managed to reuse them. I've also got to put the original uh, uh, clutch um, uh, uh, brake pedal uh, what's it box on uh, 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 that. <laughs> The uh, this bracket here will sit on top of there like that, uh, and uh, that's where the what's it uh, bolts to the um, reservoir for the brakes. So when all that's gone together, I can uh, put that on. <laughs>